In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving arithmetic progression with the Casio FS another one ES class risk calculator or the Casio FS 570 ES class risk calculator, the black one and not the white one of Casio FS another one ES plus. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving arithmetic progression with the Casio FS. Another one ES class with calculator. So guys, ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video because you will learn a lot after going through this video. You will find arithmetic progression very very simple with the Casio calculator. So ensure you stick with me till I finish solving every question I have here in this video. But having known that, before we get the Casio calculator, let's quickly look at the question I have here and see what we are asked to find okay, the question says if the 8th and 12th term of an ap are 2 and 10 respectively find some of the first 40 terms okay now let's get the casio calculator and go straight into the details of the solution with the, with the calculator okay guys this is a class with calculator casio fs Another one, ES class with. Okay, the, the first thing you have to do is to play a calculator. Very important, guys. Now, the sense of playing a calculator is to put your calculator in default mode. Very, very, very important. If you have watched some of my videos before, you know that I often say this. So, guys, so here, for those of you that don't know how to do it, you simply press shift, then button 9, full instruction. You want to clear or initialize all, you press 3. Then import means yes. Initialize or press AC key, but I always use to press the code again. You see the same thing, press the code. So it has cleared now. Now, since we have cleared it, let's go ahead and put the calculator in a mode that we never love to solve this problem, which is statistics mode. That's the mode of this calculator that will help us to stop arithmetic progression so you look for statistics if you want to get the mode of the calculator when you press menu let me show what i did just press this menu and you see these things will come out look for statistics and statistics is option six press six okay so this is statistics mode guys very, very simple now once you get here this place is very, very critical and once you miss it here you have missed everything now for arithmetic progression you go with option two. If it be a geometric progression, the option will be different. But what arithmetic progression is option two, guys. Very, very simple, very, very instructional. So you go for option two. This is arithmetic progression. Okay, so having done that, it will bring you to this place. Once you get here, you begin to impute the respective values. Now, how many, how many times do we have in this question? We have two times eight and twelve, so that will be for the x values. So we begin with eight, press eight, press the power two to enter, go down. Sorry, yeah, go down, put twelve and twelve we enter, then go over to y. For the y values, y values will be the values of the respective terms in this question. The eighth term here is what two, the twelfth term here is what. I think that's 10. Let's confirm. Yeah, it's 10. So we go ahead and put it respectively. 8 is 2. And our 12 is what 10. Very simple, guys. So once you are done, you can wipe them. N note that as you are inputting the values, the calculator was storing them automatically. So now that we are done entering the values, we can wipe them out. No need to panic because the values are already stored in this calculator. It will not go out until it's clear. That's the only time it will go out. So having known that, let's press AC. So we have cleared it. Now once you press AC, it will show you this. Very important, guys. Now, in statistics, when you talk about summation, you talk about sigma. If you remember statistics, guys. So in, in statistics precisely, you talk about sigma. Sigma means what? Summation. So to find the sum of this AP, we make use of sigma to do it. So to bring that sigma sign, press shift this button to come out. 
then this bracket put x alpha x then we want to add a symbol to that symbol under option 5 in regression we go back to option go down with this number button regression option 4 so this button 5 so this is the symbol we are looking for so once you do it so the, the sum of the first 40 times so we are going to separate 1 and 40 with comma so first of all put comma here to bring out comma press shift this button comma and comma then first put another comma shift this to come out then 40 this are the find sum of whatever you ask to find the number of time you ask to find of an ap guys very, very simple press close the bracket now press the quality you see the result the answer sum is what okay 1080 very, very simple guys now i think we, we are asked to find some of the first let's say 80 times just move 40 and put 80 that's not as that guys see the answer okay if you have to find the sum of the first hundred times just remove and put that value there and you see the result so this is how you find the sum of an ap with the castle calculator so guys basically we have solved for i've shown you how to how to find the sum and with that we have come to the end of the class so there's something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel show you the subscribe button for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response thanks for watching i will see you in my subsequent video